Right then, winter lawn care tips. <laughs> Rich Lawns, rock on. Once again, Happy New Year from me and my editing man, Tim. Without Tim, none of my lawn care weekly videos would be possible. Right then, winter lawn care tips. The idea is to get your lawn ready for the prime time in terms of applications and lawn renovations, getting your lawn really absolutely pucker for the summer. No question what you can do in winter is pretty minimal compared to the rest of the year but nonetheless equally really really important. So in no particular order try and get out there once a week if not every two weeks a fortnight to get all that lawn debris off your lawn. Falling leaves, twigs, there's a lot of gusty wind around at the minute so any kind of garden litter get all that off your lawn. Leaves particularly if they're left on your lawn and they start to decay and they get really wet, particularly with the damp, wet, overcast conditions that we experience, they will cause further damage down the line in terms of uh, encouraging the growth of moss and different forms of grass disease. So it's really, really important to get those off. No doubt your lawn could still have some weeds on the lawn but they won't be in growth they should still be dormant just keep an eye on the temperature if the plant being the weed isn't in growth then it just won't be responsive to any kind of weed killing treatment and you've seen that on my videos i use a professional product called celadon so really don't be tempted to get out there and put any kind of uh, application on them by all means if you want to dig them out go ahead and do that Temperature again is, is, is really important here because a milder winter, for example, you could potentially see uh, lawn pests. They will be more active if, if the weather has been much uh, milder. And um, by lawn pests, I'm talking about the usual suspects, uh, chafer bugs and leather jackets. Again, you've seen it on my Lawn Care Weekly video, how to treat those. Uh, the most effective product is a product that is biologically produced. It has live nematodes in it. That product can only be applied when the outside temperature is above 10. So again, keep an eye on that. Don't be tempted to go ahead and treat them if the temperature is below, which currently it is right now. You'll be wasting your time and wasting your money on a product that just isn't going to work. And my lawn lovers, at this time of year, fertilizer, really, really important. I'm using a Greenmaster 6510 plus 6%. Fertilizer, grass food, nutrients, really important to get one down at least every eight weeks. So again, I'm using the Greenmaster 6510 plus 6%, which is low in nitrogen, it's high in potassium, it will improve the health and appearance of your lawn and the iron, the 6% the iron, great for controlling moss. So get one down. Subject to the temperature increasing, providing we haven't had too much rain or too much frost, probably within a couple of weeks, the back end of January, you can get out there and cut your lawn. Just be extremely mindful not to scalp the lawn. Keep the height to a minimum of about 30 mil. I think that's it. Anything else? Send me an email. Uh, get in touch, Rich Lawns. Now then, my lawn lovers, what I want you to do is press up there to look at this week's episode. Press up there to look at my previous episodes. But what I really, really want you to do in there, that button in there, press that button right now to subscribe. Rich Lawns, nice one.